Well, good morning, everybody. We really appreciate all those who have been praying and expressing concern about our partners and our kids in Haiti. And I just, uh, first of all, wanted to report that we did get in contact with uh, and they're finally last night. And you know, the best thing that we heard was the fact that there, there's no reports of any deaths in the area. So that's a big praise. Um, if, if you know a little bit about where we work, it is in that very northwest corner, uh, but we are not on the coastline. Marouge, the town where our school is, is actually pretty high ele elevation. So we were expecting some buffer because of that, and that was true. Uh, but he did say that they had a whole lot more damage than they were expecting. Um, so we also wanted to kind of let you know what our plan is, and uh, for those that are asking how they can help, we do have something in place. Uh, it's, it's really exciting that we actually have a team already pre-scheduled to go out next week. So they'll be arriving uh, next weekend and what we're planning to do is just allow people who want to to contribute towards a relief fund. Uh, historically, when we have damage in that area from hurricanes, there's going to be a lot of roof damage. Most people have uh, primitive housing with uh, makeshift roofs. And so that's one of the places that people are most vulnerable and also crop loss. So what we're gonna be able to do when our team is there is to do a real assessment uh, where we're really evaluating the needs of the kids from our schools, their extended families, and people in their community. So if you're wanting to be a part of something uh, to help, uh, we would just encourage you to give directly. Uh, the, the link that's provided below allows you to just give a safe and really, really fast contribution that will allow us to know how much relief funds we have available to help those who are the most vulnerable in our community because of the storm. Um, and uh, our team will be able to go down next week, make an assessment of those needs, and anything that we can do on site, uh, you know, in real time we will, but uh, for the things that we can't, don't have the supplies to do at that time, we'll be able to maintain and to manage a fund and continue to help people get out of their crisis situations. So uh, thanks for praying, continue to do that. Um, and also, um, if you wanna contribute, you have an opportunity to do that as well. God bless.